Okay, so I've been working on a sound deck for a uh, drama group for Panto. Um, you've got Act 1, Act 2, you have a controller to stop the audio, you have a quit button. Each time you mouse over it highlights that you're mousing over it, so you know you've got an active click. If you want to go from Act 1 to Act 2, you click on Act 2 and it changes. Then you've got your mouse over again for the Act 2 audio. So as an example, that's that. If I go up here, you should be able to stop. Stops everything. Go back to Act 1. Uh, for some reason it's being a bit temperamental on the clicking. But again, I can go in here and just click on the I think the power is causing some fun. But I can literally pick any piece of audio. Stop it. Go to the second act. Pick a piece of music. Stop it. Stop it if needed. And that's it. I can go between the Act 1 buttons and the Act 2 buttons when this button works. I need to look into this. But the idea is that you can control all of the audio from here. A really, really simple click away. Yeah, as I said, I think the power is causing it to uh, to not be as responsive as it should be. But you can see, very simple. Stop, Stop all, and it's touch screen as well, so I should be able to just click on that. That should work just as well. A bit difficult to see with the phone in the way. But yes, if you click on each individual item, It'll just work either with a mouse or with a finger. So again, all controlled on a Raspberry Pi using the seven inch touch screen. And then when you're finished, you just click quit. And there's the normal desktop. And that's it.